In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your widescreen videos and export those as a vertical video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This is perfect if you're exporting for TikTok, Instagram Stories or YouTube Shorts. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Premiere and we've got this widescreen video on our timeline. Now it's nothing fancy, it's just one video clip, but how do we get this widescreen video into a vertical composition? Well, you could change the sequence settings by going into sequence settings and changing the frame size from 1920 to 1080 into 1080 by 1920, and that would change to nine by 16. And when you press okay, press okay, you've now got a vertical composition. But the problem is by doing it this way is if you've got loads of different videos and loads of different video effects in there, you could mess up some of the keyframes or some of the animation within that composition. So instead, we'll just delete that. We'll go back on that. And instead, we'll make a new sequence. So we'll go File, New, Sequence. Or as you can see, the shortcut for that is Command N. Or if you're on Windows, that's Control N. Then we'll go across to the right. We've got Settings. We'll go Editing Mode, Custom. Time base will be your frame rate. So by default, I'm going to select 25, but feel free to select 23, 24, 30, or whatever your frame rate of your project is. Frame size, and this is the important one, we'll go frame size 1080 by 1920. That is a vertical aspect ratio. Pixel aspect ratio can be 1.0 square pixels. Fields, no fields, progressive scan, 25 frames per second time code, rec 709 color, and then everything else is fine. Feel free to rename this sequence if you wanted to, but I'll just leave it as sequence 02 for now. And as you can see, we've got our vertical composition. So as you can see, the composition name of this is tutorial. So we'll go back to our project window. We'll search for that composition and we'll drag that into our composition here. And as you can see, it will say clip mismatch warning. This clip does not match the sequences settings. Change sequence to match the clip settings. Basically, we've got a widescreen video and we're adding it into our vertical video. So Premiere is asking if we want to turn our vertical into a widescreen video. No, we'll keep the existing settings. And then from there, you can go into your effect controls tab, motion, increase the scale, make sure the screen is filled. And then there you go. You've got your vertical video now in Premiere. Now, because this is a widescreen video and we've got a vertical composition or a vertical sequence, we're missing out what's happening on the left and the right. So if anything important is happening over here on the left or the right, then feel free to animate the position over time to follow that. So I'm going to follow this source pen, for example. So at the moment, it's in the center of the frame. So I'll create a new keyframe on the position by selecting the toggle animation button. Now I'll move across and as you can see, it's moved. So I'll pull the position over to the left. We'll move forward in time. As you can see, we've lost it there. So I'll move that over again. We've lost it again, so we'll just move that over. But as you can see, we're losing it because that's the edge of the frame. But keep working through your video and make sure that the important part of your video is in the center of the sequence. Make sure this is visible in the center of the frame. And then once you're ready, once you've completed that, you can just go File, Export, Media, and that should load up this window. So you can just go ahead and you can match the sequence settings. And then everything here is completely fine. You just select an output name and output destination. So all you have to do from here is just press export. Premiere will take a second to export your video, or if it's a longer, more complicated video, it might take a little longer. But there you go. Your widescreen video has now been converted to a vertical video inside of Premiere, and you're now free to upload that to YouTube Shorts, Instagram TV, TikTok, or wherever you want to upload this to. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.